time to go shopping with the billionaire boys club, billionaire Warren Buffett. He's been buying airlines, American Airlines, Delta, United. Famed hedgy, George Soros, snapping up cybersecurity stocks, among them Palo Alto Networks and FireEye. Meanwhile, his former deputy, Stan Druckenmiller, buying gold. What should you be doing? Should you mimic billionaires and what they're buying? Let's ask Matt Roddy, the Rockland Trust Portfolio Manager, live from Boston. I don't know, Matt, what do you think? Who's right here? Well, I mean, everyone, there's a lot of different things you can buy and sell, that's for sure. I would say when it comes to the airline stocks, they usually don't make our quality screen that we have here at Rock and Trust. Uh, it's a very asset-intensive business, high leverage, number one uh, input cost is very variable. So we don't really, when it comes to moving things, we move freight through Union Pacific and C.H. Robinson, uh, but we don't look at the airlines too much. Cybersecurity, our only exposures, quite frankly, are through Citrix. Uh, and with the LogMeIn spinoff, we're actually uh, lightening that position. So in that area, uh, we don't have a whole lot of exposure. And when it comes to gold, it's a good hedge in our aggressive portfolios, but that's the only place we use it. It obviously doesn't produce any income, so we're not using it for those clients that need income. And then uh, one thing we do. Yeah, oh, go sorry, ahead. I'm sorry. Go ahead. I was going to say, one, one area we do really like right now uh, is Nike. Nike was down 20% last year. Mm -hmm. uh, it was really kind of hurt by some of its customers going through a tough you time. You like that more than and Under Armour, which is also down? I like it a lot more than Under Armour. The reason why is Under Armour is down for a lot of reasons related to those customers and the fact that they get most of their revenue from, from apparel. Mm -hmm. Nike gets a lot of their revenue through footwear. They also do a lot of direct-to-consumer through their stores and online. They're really winning the game against Under Armour. And I really do like Nike at valuation-wise as well as growth rates. They're well, actually growth rates above Under Armour right now with lower, just, lower price. Let me just tell you, you like Sherwin-Williams. That would be a competitor to uh, Benjamin Moore, which Warren Buffett actually owns under, under Berkshire Hathaway. The way, but the great, the great uh, city of Cleveland. That's where Sherwin Williams is based. And, and as we, as we quickly melt, say goodbye, Matt. You got a record here. It's a trifecta, but add another one. Is it a quarfetta? It looks like the Russell will have its first Terrific. record for 2017.